Can anyone tell me what kind of book this one is? Yes, it's a Bible. This is a Bible as well, but this one's for older children. It's a youth Bible. Perhaps your brothers and sisters might have one like this. And this one's a very special one. It's an old Bible and it's mine when I was a child and it's got lots of really lovely pictures in it. And they come in all shapes and sizes and languages. This one's in French. And now you can even get a Bible on your phone. It's quite easy when you're moving around to read it then. And this one is a very special Bible. I like this one because it's got lots and lots of pictures in. The Open the Book storytellers use this one a lot. You may know the Bible contains many stories, but did you know that these stories all link together to form one long story about God and the people here on earth? We've come to a special time of year. What are we all looking forward to? For this special time of the year, we have a special story from the Bible. The Bible is divided into two parts. The first part tells us what happened before Jesus was born, and the second part tells us what happened after he was born. So today, we're going to jump forward in our Bible storybook to the story of Jesus' birth. So, let's open the book at the first Christmas. The first Christmas. Good news! Said the angel to a girl named Mary. God is sending someone special into the world. He will be a great king. His name will be Jesus. And guess what? God wants you to be his mother. Good news! said the angel to a carpenter named Joseph. God is sending someone special into the world. He will rescue everyone from the wrong things they have done. He will be God's own son. But guess what? God wants you to take his mother Mary as your wife and raise little Jesus as your own. Bad news, sighed Joseph to Mary. The rulers of our country want to count us to see how many of our people there are. And to make it easier for them, we have to go back to our hometown. That means a trip all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And with the baby due so soon. Bad news! Sighed the innkeeper, shaking his head. There's not one room left in here in Bethlehem. But seeing as the young lady's pregnant at all, why don't you spend the night in my stable? Good news! Called the angel to the shepherds on the hill. God has sent someone special into the world. The someone you have been waiting for. If you hurry into Bethlehem, you can see him for yourselves. He's just a baby now, wrapped up warmly and lying in a manger. But one day he will save you from all that is wrong. One day he will bring you peace. Good news, it's a boy, just as God promised. God's own son, there in your arms, Jesus. And smiled Joseph, handing the baby to Mary. Then the angels filled the sky with a good news song. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and made a good news visit. And on that very first Christmas day, Mary just watched and rocked her baby and smiled a good news smile. There are so many things to enjoy at Christmas. Christmas trees, presents, special food and parties. But why do we do all these things? Well, it's to celebrate the birth of a special person and that person is Jesus. Now close your eyes 
and think of a time when you heard some good news. See if you can remember how happy you felt when you heard that good news. Now, I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer too, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that Jesus came to tell the good news of your love for us. And we pray that everyone in this school will have a really happy Christmas. Amen.